If you are tired of responding to the same questions or sending the same emails, I'm going to show you how to take back your time by automating your most common marketing tasks. For anyone who's unfamiliar with automations, what this essentially does is take tasks that you would normally do. For example, maybe you like to send a discount code to customers that have purchased from you in the past to entice them back. Well, instead of you keeping track and writing out an email to every single customer, you can now tell Shopify, if a customer has purchased from me in the past, I want you to send them a discount code. You can adjust your settings to send that email 30 days after the first purchase, one to two days, whatever you like. Setting up these automations is going to free up your time and continue to work for you day and night. Shopify has five new marketing automations for you to use and in today's video, we're going to check them all out. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. From your Shopify dashboard, click Marketing, Automations, and click Create Automation. Now you can see all the available automations here. The first one is Welcome New Subscriber. With this feature, you can email a new subscriber a discount code. This is great because you no longer have to worry about learning MailChimp or a different third-party app. You can set this all up within Shopify with just a few clicks. One thing to note though is that it currently only works with the email signup form in your store footer. The second new email automation is first purchase upsell. With this one, after a customer makes a purchase, it will then wait a certain amount of time. By default, it is 14 days, but you can change this to fewer days or even change it to a certain number of minutes or seconds instead. After that time has elapsed, it will send an email with other product offers to the customer. Shopify provides a default template to work with, I would highly recommend adding a time-sensitive discount code to both entice your customers and add a sense of urgency. The third automation is Customer Win Back. This one is similar to the previous one in that once a customer makes a purchase, it will wait a certain amount of time, which you can set, and then it will send an email with a discount code. The template Shopify provides for this one is really nice. We have the Apply Discount Code button nicely formatted, so given the option between the first purchase upsell and the customer win back, I would suggest using the customer win back. The fourth option is to create your own custom automation. This is going to streamline your tasks and save you a lot of time. For example, if you normally send an email when a refund is created, you can now automate that process so that when a refund is created, it automatically sends an email to your customer. You can start with any of these actions you see here and then set it up by saying, if this occurs, then do this. The fifth and final option is third-party automations. You can set up automations for apps for things like email, SMS, and ads. If you'd like to see a video on how to set any of these up, leave me a comment down below and let me know which of the following you'd like a tutorial on. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products and updates that affect you. So turning on notifications for this channel will let you know as soon as we upload.